Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg. Today, Bernard and Jake will be making some Easter candy for our Image Candy Easter assortment. Jake heated up the sugar to 310 degrees and has already added the flavor, and the flavor of this batch is apricot. A flavor that I love, but we probably haven't done in about five years. We're pulling it out of the archive to, for the special edition for Easter. The table he's pouring it on is a specialty made candy cooling table. It was made about 150 years ago for this purpose and still does it well. It's water cooled. We actually did a video just about the table if you want to look it up. And it drops the temperature of the sugar faster than if we just waited. This is a batch of a lot of firsts. This is the first time we're doing an Easter assortment. And we're doing a cherry bunny, a mango chick, a pineapple egg, and the apricot dewdrop. And if you want to try this candy for yourself, you can just go to our website, www.pd.net, while it lasts. Before the sugar cools, we want to add the food coloring, because the food coloring has water in it, and we're going to use that extra heat to boil off the water and turn it into steam. And that'll keep the candy from getting sticky because the solution that is the sugar has almost no water left in it. And we want to keep it that way. We're using a palette of colors today. And because Jake and Bernard are making the candy together, they can add them simultaneously. Because it's going to cool so fast on a cool day like today, they need all the time they can to get the colors worked into the sugar. These white crystals look like sugar, but they're not. They're actually the sour that we're adding to the candy and we're sprinkling it on and working it into the white. They don't actually dissolve in the sugar. Instead, they're hidden when we turn this clear section into white. What, doesn't look white now? Well, keep on watching. Now that we have our palette of colors, we're just gonna cut them apart so we can work with each color individually. You may have noticed that that amber clear bit of candy had the citric acid in it and it wasn't fully mixed. Well, Jake's going to solve that problem by putting it on the hook and pulling it repeatedly. Every time he folds it, bunches of air bubbles are captured in the candy. And each of these little round white air bubbles, well, they reflect light and they look white. It's like the foam on the top of a lemon meringue pie. Your clear egg white becomes white as you whip it. So. The white doesn't necessarily come from the color of the substance, it comes from the way the light is reflected back randomly. And he's trapping this in time, in hard candy. I guess I missed it with the last video. That was their 150th video. Not bad for nine years, huh? It's been a fun run and I can't wait to see where we go in the future. If you want to stay with us through this run, Please just subscribe to us here on YouTube and ring the bell for notifications. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have two Facebook pages, Lofty Pursuits for the Retail Store and Public Displays of Confection for the Candy. We also have a weekly podcast called Lofty Pursuits wherever podcasts are available. I believe we're on episode number 77 there. And of course, you can try this candy for yourself at www.pd.net. And we ship it to most parts of the world. This is kind of a complicated build for the two of them, and I'm really proud how well they did it. So, what they're doing is they pulled the white, and they need opaque colors that are going to be wrapped with a clear green. Well, the clear green is pretty easy to do, but the opaque colors are going to be done either by pulling the colors themselves, or in this case, adding a small quantity of pre-pulled white and blending it in with the colors. This will make them pull faster. And that's important because they're losing heat every time we pull. A lot of air gets folded in, it cools quickly. This way it keeps the temperature more manageable and keeps the candy workable. Then one of them will work on the dewdrop shape while the other works on the outer wrap. The dewdrop shape gets built, the clear wrap gets put around, eventually a white spacing wrap gets put around it, 
and then the final outer wrap. And the results, I hope you're going to like as much as I do. The candy we have here is our Image Candy Easter Assortment, but we have a second Easter Assortment made on this old drop roller. This is about 130 years old, it came from the Moulin's Candy Store, and we're making a marshmallow and fruit flavored assortment this year in pastel colors. It's also available on our website. Now that we've made the log of candy, it's time for us to pull it down to rods and we do this on the batch roller. Jake here is sizing it down and when he gets it to the diameter he wants, the very end that's become too cool to work with, he chops off and he saves. We sell that in the store under the name Unicorn Dropping and it looks like a really pretty one this time. We do not sell these by mail order so if you ever make it to Tallahassee you can get one for yourself. He then scales the candy down. And he does this very carefully without distorting the design on the inside. The rods that are thinner in diameter cool very quickly at this point, And they'll become brittle, which is perfect because these rods are too big and we need to make them into bite-sized pieces. And we do that on the Canvil. And here it is, the Rainbow Dewdrop. And it's a beautiful dewdrop, even if it was originally supposed to be an Easter egg. It came out so nice, and dewdrops are for spring, we thought we'd keep it. Hey, by a certain definition, I guess this is the Easter egg in the video. Thank you for watching. And if you ever make it to Tallahassee, we're right off the Thomasville Road exit of I-10, just a few minutes away. You can come and visit us. We make candy a lot, but not all the time. And if you're lucky, you'll catch us making candy. Thank you again for watching. And remember to subscribe to us here and everywhere else. See you in the next video.